Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now, yes, it's been a while since I've done like a sort of a commentary video and that's just because I've been really busy lately and I haven't had really the time to make these huge new videos. I've kind of just been, you know, making these smaller videos because that's all I've really had time to do. But I really don't want to, you know, make sure that you I don't I don't really want you guys thinking that I quit YouTube because I haven't quit YouTube obviously so let's talk about cars 2 the game not cars 2 the game what am i talking about i meant cars 3 the game i was just playing cars 2 recently just to you know get a bit of a, a reference to see how cars 3 improves on cars 2 and yeah it's, just, it, uh, it, it's gotten that into my mind i apologize anyways let's let's talk about cars 3 the game so, this is a bit of a weird game because, honestly, nowadays, there really isn't that many movie tie-ins coming out. I mean, the last real big one that I remember coming out was Ghostbusters the game, and that was almost a year ago, if not a year ago. Um, so, it's kind of interesting that this game is releasing, uh, because, honestly, there really isn't that many movie tie-in games coming out lately, and, well, this is a movie tie-in game. Now, I had a little bit lowered expectations for this game because of it being a movie tie-in i mean really it's a movie tie-in i mean it's gonna be rushed it's most likely gonna be rushed it might not be that great so i was like okay i'm gonna lower my expectations on it How now given that it was being developed by the same people who made cars 2 the game i was like okay well maybe they'll just reskin cars 2 and i'll be happy with that i liked cars 2 but, you know, there's this small chance that they might actually improve on Cars 2, the game, and actually, like, add new content and improve on a lot of the game mechanics. And, well, that's pretty much what they did. They definitely actually improved on a lot of things. And this game is actually really good um, for a movie tie-in, especially. So it's a pretty traditional little kart racer thingy. You know, you got your drifts, you got your power-ups got your normal driving stuff it's pretty self-explanatory you know the tracks are actually pretty well designed enough to accommodate for everything and honestly um just with the way everything is balanced in the game i do think that the game is decently balanced now there's some balance problems but yeah i do think that the game itself is pretty decently balanced for a kart racer and cars 2 i did like that game but it definitely did have some problems um Mainly because a lot of the gameplay, I, the, like the sort of unique kart racing ideas that they had, didn't really get flushed out that well. However, in this game, they definitely get flushed out a lot more, and the tracks make use of a lot more of these mechanics that were in Cars 2, and makes very good use of them, and I do think that that's a really good feature. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, also, there's a lot there's a lot of modes actually there's you know the standard racing and battle racing racing is just pretty self-explanatory you finish in first place battle racing well it's the same thing except with power-ups but then there's also stuff like stunt challenge which actually isn't about racing but actually just coming in first by getting as many points by doing stunts as possible which is actually a really cool mode there's also um i believe it's called takedown where you just survive waves and waves of enemies and you know you kill as many of them as you can within the time limit that's actually a really fun mode too and then there's also you know get the best lap uh challenges which are pretty self-explanatory they're basically time trials so mm, bet you know what time trials are there's also um the boss battles now there's four boss battles i'm not really going to spoil them but they are really challenging and they're really fun actually so, yeah, this game honestly has a lot of stuff going for it. Another thing that I really found cool about this game was the progression system. It's not really like every other game where you just complete this and you complete previous challenge to unlock next challenge type thing. Like, you know, Call of Duty, you know, just 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 making a reference just to Call of Duty. I'm not actually going to show Call of Duty or anything, but like in that game, you do campaign, that's a mission. You do one mission, then you move on to the next mission. Like that that type of progression systems in most games and especially in kart racers 
you complete this track, then you move on to the next track. But the way the progression system works in this game is that there's actually just a huge, like, series of challenges. I believe 136, if I memorized it correctly. There's just tons of challenges, and if you complete enough of them, then you unlock a special item. And you basically just complete tons of challenges of challenges over the course of the game to unlock stuff. It's actually a pretty cool system, and I really did like that. It's definitely a really unique way of doing it, but it's also really challenging and rewarding. And I honestly really like that progression system, and it'll really keep you going for a while, since there's so many challenges to do. So, yeah, honestly, that's that's pretty cool. So, yeah, overall, I do think that Cars 3 is definitely a pretty decent game. Um, and if you're going to buy it for your kid, I definitely would recommend it. It's, it'll probably keep your kid busy for a while. Um, but, yeah, this, I just wanted to really talk about this game in this video, so that's why I kind of did this video. And I kind of wanted to just make another commentary video to prove that I'm not dead or anything like that. So... Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.